can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you hey what's up guys welcome back to show welcome back to another video and today we're not working on the 650 today we're not working on this 2002 I know it's super random it's uh it's part of my boys projects but that's pretty sick I'll be hopefully showing you guys a few things on that but yeah it's not gonna be on this 2002 it's not gonna be on the 650 it's actually on another car of mine me and Devon own this car together it hasn't been on the channel for a very long time so you guys have been asking about it but I just haven't been answering because I didn't know what was gonna honestly happen to the car so the x5 that is a car we purchased a long time ago for 250 Fifty dollars, and uh, we ended up dumping a lot of money into it, fixing a whole bunch of things. But ended up running so smoothly, clean title. We already have it registered. The only thing now is that giant oil leaks. I don't know if you guys remember those. Of you guys who are OG. That thing had an insane oil leak. I got an insane oil leak. So um, I looked up online in the forums and everything. They're saying it's very common from the oil filter housing gasket. So we went ahead and ordered all the oil filter housing gaskets all the tools we need to go ahead and take part that front clip and get this job done. It's a big job, but I think we're gonna go ahead and attempt it. I know, I'm excited. Let's get this car in the garage. These are my three babies. We're gonna have to get one of these hashtags here. It'll be a on this one. But let's go get the X5. Let's see if she starts up. No issues. I'm telling you guys, this car is solid. All right, let's go ahead and get inside the garage. Actually, only 145,000 miles. I haven't driven this car in a long time. It's actually really low. Alrighty, maneuver this giant car inside. Eh, I think I could back it up a little more. Do, 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 do. Hey, a little more. And me a little more. Ah, that's good, that's good. So for those of you guys who are new to the channel, this is an X5 3.0 2005. This is pretty much, I think, the newest model you could get. Maybe even there's a 2006, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the newer models of the X5 E6, uh, E53? I'm not really, I don't know, I think it's an E52, I'm not really, I'm not too sure. Anywho, CarMax car, I think that's pretty sick. I like actually this little CarMax thing. And uh, the body's immaculate, it, it drives immaculately. It just leaks oil like no other car you've ever seen in your life. I called a few shops, they're literally telling me nine times out of 10, it's the oil filter housing gasket. So if that's the case, I'll be one happy little sailor. Let's go ahead and pop the hood. Okie dokie. Oh, here we go. There we go, just like that. Look how the engine's just sunk in there. It looks so weird. Doesn't look like this engine's meant for this car. Anywho, we're gonna have to start taking apart all this stuff right here and get to that oil filter housing. I'm pretty sure that's gonna be an absolute pain, but it's gonna be a lot of work, but I think it's gonna be worth it. Let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna have to do is remove this guy, then this, and uh, probably honestly this corn, maybe even the radiator. Ah, oh, man, let's get to it. Um, so. Uh, I didn't really look at this job and say it was gonna be easy cuz uh, I looked up a video I've never seen an oil filter housing gasket that looked this retarded in my life. This is like so I, I don't even know to explain to y'all the gasket is literally it, it's held on by pulleys like there's pulleys There's a serpentine. There's the fan. There's the eight you have to remove the alternator to get to that gasket on every other three series it's so easy to get to. So this is gonna be a big project. I'm just gonna go ahead and set you guys up on the time lapse. It is what it is. Uh, let's get to it. It's gonna be a long day. guys should be a moment of truth oh buddy after about two hours I think we got this yep that was definitely the reason we were leaking oil boys so that's where the gasket is look how much oil underneath the gasket oh my god Yep, that is definitely the issue. Thank God that was the issue because if I went through all this and it was spotless down here, 
I would have been pissed. So uh, that's good. So all the oil has been leaking out of there all over here. We're gonna have to take out that gasket and replace. You guys can see all the oil just going to the bottom right here. Wow, that looks like absolute doo-doo. All right, well that's good. Let's go ahead and get that replaced. I am gonna have to head out of here in a little bit. Probably get some food. I am very hungry. I think it's like 9 p.m. I started this at like 6 p.m. So it took me about three hours just to take that apart. It's gonna take probably another two and a half putting it back together. So I'm gonna get something to eat, clean up this mess. Um, I'm gonna get some rags from Walmart and uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? First things first, I came this far to remove that damn gasket, so I'm gonna get that off right now. Your boy's officially back. You got something to eat. It is super late. Let me actually show you guys the time so you guys know how late your boy's working tonight. Um, just, you know, show your man a little bit of love. Smash that like button. It's definitely a late night, that's for sure. It is right now 11.17. I don't know if you guys can see that right now. But 11.17, by the way, that's my beautiful wifey. So, uh, well, fiance, soon to be wifey. Anywho, I gotta go ahead and get a new gasket on there. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this off. Get a new gasket on that and go ahead and wipe down the rest of this stuff. I actually don't have any uh, shop rag, so I'm gonna have to like improvise and get all that cleaned up. But yeah, that's gonna be the next uh, probably 30 to 40 minutes is getting that cleaned up, getting that cleaned up, and start reassembling this motor. And in the process, guys, the only thing I broke is my thermostat. Luckily, this is only $20, but unfortunately, I do need this part, so that sucks. But 20 bucks, not the end of the world. Look how bad I destroyed that. Oh my God. What? Up, guys. Oh. Oh. Oh my Lord. So, it is one in the morning. I'm pretty sure it's almost like two in the morning. And um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's supposed to have some sunlight, but no, it is so dark outside because it's like one or two in the morning right now. So I did end up replacing the gasket, got everything back together, but I just had to, I put it even, I even put it on the belts, which I'm very proud of myself. Just the water pump. I'm going to go see if like some place locally has it and I'll just go buy the part new, honestly, then going out of pick a pool. It wouldn't hurt to just get a new thermostat. That one, I completely destroyed it. Uh, it's a murder scene everywhere. But once I get this new thermostat on, I just got to put on the new, uh, I just got to put the fan back on, the fan shroud, and and then just the cover and it's done. Like guys, we did it in one night. This job, according to my mechanic, was gonna be a four to five hour job. And I think it took me about about five hours and it was my first time. So I would, this is a job that the shop quote us a thousand to do. That's why me and Devon were just like, that's not worth it. Let's go ahead and attempt it and get the tools ourselves. So this tool worked great. This tool did not line up at all. I literally had to cut and make my own tool out of this tool to make it work. I'm just so happy it worked out. Um, basically that's the tire, everything for this. I gotta get everything back in the car and I gotta clean up the ground. I gotta figure out a way to clean all this stuff. All right guys, it is the next day. So we are getting that uh, thermostat and we should be ready to go to put together this, uh, uh, this X5, you know, this neglected uh, poor car. It's got uh, pretty much a new thermostat. Let's go ahead and install the sucker. Well, actually, first thing I gotta do, I gotta head to the shop. Bro, what is that? This is my belt that I just replaced. Holy, with some it looks terrible. Models had it running for a little bit and then all of a sudden did the same exact noise as before. Oh my God. All right guys, so we just made it down to the shop with the X5, the new thermostats. Hopefully get this whole front end back together, take it on the block to see if it leaks any oil. I am gonna go ahead and power wash the bottom of the car as well just to get any leftover oils that were there. But I think that was the main cause of the oil leak. Clearly you guys saw how bad that gasket was. It was literally tearing apart. And uh, dude, if Jonathan, if you only saw how much work had to go into this. Wait, what, where does this go? Uh, it goes right here into the, the water pump, oh, the thermostat, okay. so. Yeah, after that, I already put on the belt. I oh, just need to put on the fan. I thought you were missing the radiator. I looked in here, I was like, oh, he's missing oh, no. the radiator. <laughs> it actually, the fan, once you're moving, you get a lot of space to work on everything. Yeah. Let's go ahead and install the new thermostat. This might take a little bit, but at the same time, I don't think it's gonna be too hard. So fingers crossed, go smooth. Pray for me, y'all.
So we got the new thermostat in there. We got pretty much everything back in here. The new oil filter housing gasket. That was an absolute pain. I hope I never have to do that ever again. Now we just gotta put in some coolant. So I think that goes right here, honestly. Super low. Come on, come on, buddy. Okay, well, this is actually really hard. Let me go ahead and put some coolant, start it up, take it out for a drive, and hopefully everything is good. And then uh, we'll come back and see if there's any oil leaking. Probably there's gonna be, because there's a lot of oil still down there. Uh, but I'll just go outside and power wash it. And while I'm power washing this, I might just power wash that. Just gonna go ahead and take it out for a spin, let the coolant drain in, and uh, bro, finally. Hopefully no oil leak. That was the biggest thing with this car. Hopefully no big oil leak, and hopefully uh, the coolant, we're good to go on that. Uh, new thermostat, I don't know if it could do anything to do with coating. I don't think so, it's a pretty old car, but uh, let's see. Dude, what do you feel like? This is weird. Weird. This is, it's right? been a while. We're jumping from like a convertible to like an <laughs> X5 to like, like, what are we doing? Bro, the amount of different BMWs, we have the 2002, we have the X5, six series, one series, four, four series. series. We need a three series. We need a three series. Like, we don't have a three series. <laughs> like, that's well, technically I that's like a three series, but it's just like the old, old ones. So, so I'm so scared. Just listen to it. I'm hoping I did this right. Uh, it doesn't. Huh? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oof. <sighs> Oof. Well, that's very nice. We got jumper key this way? Uh, we should. Okay. Go for it. Damn it, guys. What's going on with this thing? All right, guys. So, uh, actually, this is it one more time for y'all. So, uh, if Jonathan tries to crank it, look at the dash. Yeah, that's a battery issue because with the 650i, it would keep on cranking, but the lights were good. They remove the battery and then take it down to AutoZone, let them charge it, and then go get something to eat. I know this is a new battery because I got it like six months ago. Let's go ahead and pop the truck. Same thing. What? Guys, what? Did it start? All I did is remove a couple bolts. Wait, what? I didn't even have to jump it. I'm so confused. Belt's running, everything's running. How is power steering, is it working? Everything's working? Yeah, they had the four by four light, but I just turned it and went away. You know the four by four? Do that, yeah, no, that's crazy. Everything's working? I don't know, okay, that's cool. Guys, it started, perfect, all right, cool, cool, cool. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to put that back on there without messing up the wire, so give me one second. Guys, yo man right here got this thing. We picked it up, it wouldn't start. Your man got it started. We fixed a major oil leak that I didn't think I was honestly gonna do. Still a little bit of coolant, but uh, no big deal. We're gonna go ahead and take it out for a drive, get pretty much all the oil and all the water that's currently sitting in the car off the car. I mean, obviously you need to go for a long drive to get all that off, but I'm sure there's a lot of other small leaks. I mean, it's not perfect, but that oil filter housing had to get done. So let's go get something to eat, and then after that, um, probably even do a whole power wash in the bottom of the car. Probably even the inside too. I mean, the, I mean like the exterior too. Uh, the yeah. car needs a wash. We so need the proper detail, so you know what that means. Oh, well, Jonathan, I guess is gonna go ahead and detail the X5 as well. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start babying it up. Uh, but of course, before that, we gotta eat. So guys, this car is so solid. It drives so smooth, so quiet. AC works. It's actually so quiet. We're just dude. chilling. Temperatures are good, and uh, I mean, damn, the only thing that was an issue was that this car was an oil leak. So hopefully, I mean, if if I did my job right, I'm thinking so as well, we should be good. So uh, let's see, let's see. We wanna get some Togos? Togos! So I, I would normally go to Chipotle, but Chipotle's too far right now. So we're gonna get Togos, oh, the next best thing in terms of healthiness. So uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's a healthy tuna sandwich. Oh my God, tuna. Is it? <laughs> oh, you don't like the tuna? I like tuna, but like, if I'm going to like a, a sandwich shop, I'm not gonna get tuna. Oh, okay, well that, that's your preference, my G. Yeah. Anywho, we'll see what he gets in a little bit. Just got a low coolant light. It is what it is, I guess. Let's go back, and uh, it's not a big deal. I mean, big deal. as long as it's not leaking, you know? But uh... All right, guys, back in the shop. Let's get that coolant real quick. I'm gonna bleed a little bit through here. Pears. I think we need some coolant now, right? Yeah, let's get, get a little bit more coolant. Oof. Damn. Guys, no lights on the dash. This thing's mint. What you got there, Johnny? Togos. Togos. All right, let's eat. I'm gonna show you guys his sandwich because apparently uh, tuna doesn't taste good. Dude, this was just some DDE. What'd you, <laughs> What'd you get? You Avocado turkey. Damn. Oh man, I got myself some tuna. All right, let's enjoy this real quick. And you guys can watch either Noise videos or DDE. I love them both. It's really impressive when this car starts up every single time, no issues. All right, so this is what leaked out of the car. Uh, that is oil, that's all oil. So this is all over the place though. So again, I didn't even degrease the car. Pretty much all the oil that was there is just gonna continue to fall off for the next week or two. Uh, it is what it is, but... um. So I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do, just so the next time we're here, I just wanna get as much as I can. I think I'm gonna get a power washer and just power wash the whole bottom of the car. And then, uh, pow you know, even just clean my 435 while I'm at it. So, full time mess mode, we'll go ahead and clean the X5 from the outside. It looks absolutely terrible. And then uh, the 435 as well. And then hopefully get all that, most of the oil from down there off. So, you know, we can see the, the 
progression of the oil looking less and less every single day. That would look good, obviously, so. Much got the whole car cleaned up even the bottom of the car the wheels are starting to pop it too so i pretty much sprayed all this down uh so i'm hoping i know i didn't get all because it's oil literally in the middle of the car so i know i didn't get all the oil but at least a big chunk of the oil that was just sitting down there obviously when you do a job like this you have to give it some time to actually see some major result differences mainly because there's just oil everywhere it's just gonna take some time i should have cleaned it out but to be honest with you i didn't have towels or any of that stuff so it's okay it's okay anywho i'm just gonna go ahead and dry up the x5 and uh, it's good to go i'm gonna go ahead and give uh miss copper over there a wash because i haven't washed copper in literally forever to be honest with you so yeah it is filthy she deserves a wash let's give her a wash Guys, just like that, pretty much both cars are cleaned up. Guys, I'm really happy how far the X5 has come. So now that the X5 is completely done, what should we do next? Uh, I, I know we're gonna go straight back to the 650. I'm just waiting for all the parts to come in again. I just need to get it smogged, been verified, and we're gonna go full send on the mod. But as for now, if you guys still are looking to see more content, Sear just uploaded a video um, that he put a lot of time into, and then I actually helped him film it. So if you guys wanna check it out, link down below. So if you guys wanna check out another video by my boy Sear, he's trying to enter a team that uh, he really wants to join, help edit for them and stuff like that. And he just needs a kind of our support to help his, get his video more noticed. Uh, so if you guys wanna check it out, link down below, just smash that like button on my video and his video. Uh, it'll, you know, it'll just give him a better chance at the same time. It's, he put a lot of time into the video. I think it's well-deserved. I think he put a lot more time into that video than my video and my video is a lot longer. It just comes to show how much time he actually spent in the editing process. So um, without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Uh, hopefully the next video should be another banger. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Without further ado, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.